It's coffee time. Rocking my Kuroko mug. Yeah, what? No anime shame in this house. So I'm about to make a mystery dinner and I really hope it's good because it's so simple. It's like a noodle and veggie thing. So it's gonna be quick. It's gonna be super simple, but it has like spinach pasta in it, which I've never had. And I can almost guarantee you the other people I live with are not gonna be super into, but I still was like, yo, I'm gonna make dinner. You can feel free to have some. But I also warned them it might be terrible and that I've never made it before. So at least they know that. They know that ahead of time. They know that it might wind up being a Taco Bell slash pizza night because the food I made is inedible. I can't imagine, I can't imagine it not being good or at least, I don't know, doable, right? Like, it'll, it'll be okay. It's, it's very basic. So it shouldn't be bad. The problem is, is that I made chili and my chili is good. Like I've perfected it. I know it's good. I've never made this before. So I'm like, oh, I hope it's good. I hope that I don't waste food. That's like the big fear. I'm like, I don't want to waste food, guys. I want this to be good. And sometimes I wind up staring at recipes and going, what could I add to this? Because it doesn't feel like enough food. And then once I've added a bunch of stuff, it tastes good. But I'm like, there's so much. What do I do with all this? I have like a problem. Oh man, and this morning, you guys, you know how typically the the machine noises that will wake you up are like vehicles, right? It'll be like the garbage truck, or it'll be motorcycles, or sirens on police cars, things like that. Today I was woken up by like a jackhammer, and it was the most obnoxious noise. It was like right outside my window and I was like, what is happening? And it turns out that my landlord and another dude were outside and he was like, yo, and I was like, hi. He doesn't actually say yo, but in my mind, I like to imagine him saying yo because it's funny for me. But anyway, so I like wound up going outside eventually. I was like, I just want to sleep. I just want to sleep. It's so early. Went outside and he was just like chilling on the lawn. <laughs> it's like, hi. How's it going? He was like, hello, working on some stuff. I was like, okay. And what I don't like is that the area where they have to work on stuff is always right outside my window, which means that I can't open my blinds all the way. Like if I want natural light in here, I can't open my blinds all the way because then they're just standing right there. They can just stare and I can stare at them. And I don't like creating staring opportunities. So I keep the blinds closed and open up the windows and I'm like, oh, the air could be getting in so much quicker. I could have natural light and fresh air if only you weren't doing something outside. I don't even know what they were doing. I have no idea what it was, but all I know is that it was loud. It was so loud. Like I, I couldn't sleep through it. There was just no way. So, uh, yeah, that was a thing this morning. <laughs> and, uh, Man, what else has happened today? I have like a science experiment going. Do you want to see it? It's going to gross you out so hard. So there was a Starbucks Frappuccino that I went to open and I didn't actually drink it. I just like opened the top and then went, you know, I'm just not feeling this right. Speaking of wasting food, I was like, you know, I shouldn't drink this because it's got dairy in it. I really shouldn't drink this. So I closed it and I had intended on putting it in the fridge and I just didn't. And now it's like separating and it looks so cool, but it probably looks gross to anybody else. Maybe I shouldn't show you. I'm going to show you anyway. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to give you a countdown so that if you don't want to see it, you can avert your eyes and then I'll tell you when I'm done. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Look at how gross this is. It's so awesome. It's my science experiment. So like there's all this, like all this down here is super thick and you can see it move around when you twist the bottle. And then all of this in here is like this awkward yellow color. And then there's whatever, whatever is surfacing at the top. What is, what is happening? But I refuse to mix it. I just want to see like how far this can go like how terrible this can wind up being. It's so gross, but I just stare at it. Okay, three, two, one, you're good, we're done. Um, I don't have the heart to throw it away. I have too much of that like, oh, I wanna see what happens. Too much, too much of a science heart. I'm like, yeah, yeah, keep molding and getting gross. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. So I can't wait to see what happens to it. But what I'm concerned about is that I'm leaving for PAX, right? I'm leaving early so that I can visit with a friend. 
and I'm not coming back until Monday is when my flight is. So <laughs> I'm like, do I just leave it here that whole time? What if the cat knocks it over? That would be so gross. That would be so gross. I should probably put it in the fr- <laughs> Somebody out there thought I was gonna say I should probably throw it away and now you're really disappointed in me. I should probably put it in the fridge and put a little sign on it that says science experiment do not touch. That's probably what I'm going to do. If we have room in our fridge, do we have room in the fridge? We might not. We might not, guys. Could I make room in the fridge? Maybe. Yeah, I bet there's something I could throw away. Oh, but we won't want it next to, like, good food. Because, again, what if it, like, knocks over? Oh, man. I don't want to give it up, though. Look at how cool it is. Ah! I refuse. I won't get rid of it. Nope. Well, give me a deadline. Well, give me a deadline to get rid of it. How does that sound? So right now it is the 28th. I have had it in my room since the 24th, I think. So that's all happened in just like a few days. So let's say I will for, sh I will for sure throw it away by the 8th of September. Is that too far? <laughs> Should I do it earlier? I just want to see what happens! I'm gonna throw it out on the 8th. There. We've decided. I'm even gonna make a little- oh, can I make notes in here? That would be cool. Oh, nope. Can I? No. Makers of Windows! You should make it so that you can put notes on specific days. That would be cool. That's my feelings. Where can I write that down? I'll remember. I'll remember! because I'll be really excited about this. What if it doesn't change anymore? I'll probably throw it away earlier if there are no other changes that happen. But guys, if it continues to change and it starts looking really cool, then I'm probably not gonna throw it away right away. It's kind of gross. It's kind of a gross thing. But it's just so cool. That was always like my favorite part of being in school was when I got to do weird experiments like that or just like leave things alone. You know, when you're like, when you're younger, when they put you in chemistry and things, they don't let you do that nearly as much. But when you're younger, they're like, yeah, let's watch mold. And you're like, yeah, let's watch mold. <laughs> and then you get to just like, every day you come in and you look and see how something has changed. Even, even the kind of like basic horticulture classes when they're like, all right, we're going to plant a thing. And then every day you can, you know, look at yours and see if it's growing. That was always so cool. Like every day something was different, you know? I miss stuff like that so much. I should just start doing that sort of stuff. Just on my own. Just like little kid projects. I'm like, I'm growing a flower. Just one. Oh, I did get flowers in that, in that, um, that sheepy box. I could grow some flowers, guys. I could grow them all, like, in my room. It'd be super cry. I don't know why my brain went to this, but I just immediately thought to myself, I should really see if Sherlock Cat likes water. I don't know why I thought of that just now. Oh, you know why? Because I've seen videos of, um, where people will have, like, they'll have, like, flower, not flower beds, but, like, they'll have, like, an area of grass that their cat is allowed to dig in and like play in. It's like the same with rats. Some people will have just like a specific area that their rats can dig in because it makes them happier. And then I thought, oh, sometime I should show Sherlock Cat a bath <laughs> and see if he's into it. Cause I don't, I've never, I've never given him a bath. Like I just have the like wipies so that I don't get killed, get murdered by my cat. But I want to know, what if he likes it? What if he's like, yeah, water! That's probably not going to happen. He probably hates water. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it. I'm going to assume right now that he hates water. Uh, anywho. So, uh, yeah. I'm leaving for PAX tomorrow. Um, so my next vlog will either be in the morning tomorrow if I have time, or it'll be from Seattle when I'm with my friend Sarah. So either way, uh, I hope that you guys had a good day and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye. Okay.